Leading witness out on mascot for today is 13-year-old Stephen Sinclair from Warrington. Stephen attends Pinketh High School and plays amateur rugby league for Crossfields under-14s. His favourite witness player is Richard Erz. And he'll be going along having his photographs taken with his favourite player in just a moment or two. Just two changes to the witness lineup today. And in the three quarters, number two, John Bentley. Number three is Gary Lord. Number four, David Stevenson. And number five, Carl Gibson. Number six is Cliff Lyons. Number seven, Ray Ashton. In the forwards at number eight is Lee Crooks. Number nine, Colin Maskell. And number 10, Hugh Waddell. Number 11 is Roy Powell. Number 12, Gary Price. And number 13, Dave Heron. The substitute for Leeds today are number 14, Paul Maidley, and number 15, Sam Bacco. The referee for today's match is Mr R Tennant from Cumbria, and your touch judges are Mr J E Lloyd with the pink flag, and Mr J A Unsworth with the orange flag. The two captains, Lee Crooks and David Yearm, going through the preliminaries with the referee. Well, the officials and the captains and the mascots having some official photographs taken just before the kickoff. The two teams switching ends. And in the first half, Leeds will be playing from left to right and witness towards the scoreboard end. So it believes to kick off the match. Through number two, right wing John Bentley. Leeds have had a rather roller coaster start to the season, reaching a high point, winning the Yorkshire Cup. But one or two weeks ago, losing at home to bottom of the table, Oldham. So Bentley starts the match with a kick into the witness half, fielded by Mike O'Neill. Met by the Leeds forwards. Richard Urs takes the ball, met by Heron. Joe Grimmer. Met by two Leeds forwards, Powell and Crooks. We'll just move the ball back. David Young. Kick downfield. And a good strong kick. And an excellent kick from Alan Taylor. Making good ground for witness. And that results in a scrum down on the Leeds 25. Leeds to put the ball in. Leeds get the ball and move the ball to the left. 
but witness quickly up there to smother that move Mike O'Neill with a good tackle on Ray Ashton moving left Hugh Woodall ex Oldham Great Britain prop forward Roy Powell now for Leeds straightening up good Dave Heron but a good tackle by Joe Grimmer and Derek Pike Leeds still with the ball Bentley kicking downfield McThackery takes the ball for witness straightens up but a good tackle from Lee Crooks still going 20 yards inside the witness half Derek Pike driving in for witness and making ground for witness Mike O'Neill onto the loose ball bit of a misunderstanding a slight injury there to Derek Pike well a very important match for both sides today for different reasons I have with me Reg Borden in the commentary box how do you think that the game's going to go today Reg? Well, looking at the start of the, the match at the moment Steve I think both sides will be kicking up, up the field and testing each other's full backs out Witness got a very strong win with him at the moment and showed that with the kick by Alan Tate it went fully 50-60 yards down the field I think Sue gets into each other um, both sides are tackling a bit on the ferocious side which is what the game's all about and it just proved to them with a tackle on Derek Pike by Hugh Waddell um, this Hugh Waddell looks a little bit like uh, Steve Pitchford did from a few years ago on the lead side I think, uh, I think both packs will have to test each other whoever gets on top in the packs is going to win the game I think Right, thanks Reg, Leeds win that scrum Ashton moving the ball, coming around the fullback Ettinghausen moving into the line with Darren Wright quickly across the cover Ettinghausen to play the ball, Bentley inside to Lord well tackled by Paul Hume and Tony Myler Maskell to Heron missing a man out and indeed Mr Tennant says that the player was crossing and a free kick to witness right on the 25 as Reg pointed out in this first half there's a very strong wind blowing down in witness favour and Alan says with the penalty and a good kick from Alan Say safely into touch witness a tap five or six yards into their own half and ten yards in Phil McKenzie with a tap to David Hume the witness captain Joe Grimmer met by Heron and Price David Hume Mike O'Neill handing off Cliff Lyons David Hume taking out to the right Richard Erz joins the line but three leads men across witness with a chance to move the ball but goes down the blind side good play the ball just going to ground but a nice move from Phil McKenzie scrum down 15 yards into the leads half that'd be Ray Ashton to feed the scrum and Mr Tennant says that Ray Ashton illegally feeds the scrummage and another penalty to witness Alan Tate comfortably into touch and now a chance for witness to move the ball on the leads 25 David Hume, Joe Grimmer but again good tackling from the Leeds pack and Mr Tennant judging that Joe Grimmer knocked the ball forward and that results in a scrum down just inside the Leeds 25 this will be Ray Ashton to put the ball into the scrum Leeds get the ball out and move it across the Cliff Lyons a long pass, Bentley, but a combination of Martin Afire and Darren Wright brings him to ground. Cliff Lyons inside to Gary Price. Dave Heron to Lee Crooks. But a good tackle from Phil McKenzie. Roy Powell 
to Ray Ashton. Moving it across to the left leads. Trying to turn the ball inside, but a good dummy there for David Stevenson. So as the ball inside, the ball goes to ground. And the ball's still loose, but Mr. Tennant deciding a double knock on on that occasion. Well, the early stages of this game, one or two passes going to ground. Naturally so. The players tackling particularly hard in these early stages and the ball being knocked from one or two players' grasp. Well, Widnes get the ball from that scrum. Three or four yards inside the, their own half. Phil McKenzie to Tony Myler now. Alan Tate joins the line. A switch play to Andy Currier. Currier still going, looking for men on the outside. He gets tackled. Virtually where the scrummage was. David Hume on the run around. Dummy from Derek Pike. Witness to Tony Myler. Myler taking the play up to virtually on the halfway line. Alan Tate again with a kick downfield. This time End Ettinghausen feels the ball on the full and returns the ball to his own 25. In fact, it's over the 25 with a good run. Three witness players in the end with a good tackle. Taking the ball blind, but no support. Leeds moving the ball across their own line. Ray Powell. Some good tackling from both sides early on. Not much headway for either set of forwards. Heron with a good run. Myler and Grimmer bringing to ground. Grimmer appears to have taken a bang in that tackle. And you, Odell. Trying to get Leeds just up to the halfway line. Switch play. Bentley with the ball. Beats the first tackler. Attempted kick. And indeed, Mr. Tennant allowing play to go on from that ball. A kick from Maskell for the try line. Gibson after the ball. But the ball runs out of play behind the witness goal line. I'll just. Uh, Ask Reg Borden again how he feels the match is going, if anybody appears to be making any headway. But in the meantime, Tony Myler to Darren Wright. Goes back inside and is tackled by a couple of Leeds players. Well, Reg. I think Steve, uh, Leeds squandered a chance there by kicking the ball. It went back to first tackle. And I think uh, the winger, Bentley, should have just carried on along the line and run the ball out. Martin of fire. Breaks through the Leeds cover. Ettinghausen to beat. Goes on the outside of Ettinghausen. He's making a tremendous run for the line. And yet again... Martin of fire with sensational wing play broke through the leads defense on halfway and an international fullback Andrew Ettinghausen just did not have the pace to cut off Martin of fire there seems little One end of the field, this is why Witness are so good at the moment. They can go from defence to attack and score. They can go the full length of the field like Witness just did then. From a stupid kick by the winger over on the far side, Witness have come all the way down the field. Martin picks the ball up uh, on the halfway line. I just streaked to the line. The winger or the fullback couldn't get near him. I just headed for the corner. Excellent try. Just just shows what sheer pace the lad has got. You know, and it's it's a great contribute to the lad, you know, and it's it's excellent that you can see him running so fast on, on a on a even a ground like this today. Right, thanks, Reg. Andy Courier just pushing that. Through Martin of Fire. So it'll be John Bentley to restart the game for Leeds with a kick onto the witness 25. Fielded by Mike O'Neill. Good strong run from Mike O'Neill. Taking three witness, Leeds players rather, to take him to ground. Bit of a misunderstanding at the play of the ball and indeed Mr Tennant judging that witness recovered the ball sufficiently and playing the ball. 
Derek Pike. David Hume, Mike O'Neill again. Strong running from Mike O'Neill. With the ball wrestled from his grasp, but now Leeds with the ball, moving it to the left. Lee Crooks trying to straighten up, looking for support inside. And the ball goes to the ground, and Phil McKenzie picks up the loose ball. Phil McKenzie to Derek Pike. Looking inside to Paul Hume. Hugh Odell. The ball going to ground. And Mr. Tennant. A free kick to witness indeed. I think a Leeds player must have made some sort of comment. And Mr. Tennant awarding a free kick to witness. It'll be Alan Tate with a kick and a good strong kick, even with the following wind, gaining good ground for witness. So a tap penalty, 15 yards into the lead half. Phil McKenzie to take. David Hume, Joe Grimmer. Richard Ers, switching play. Derek Pike coming around. Mike O'Neill, straightening play up down the middle of the field. But a good tackle from Lee Crooks. Good play by Witness. Andy Courier. Tony Myler. Good support play from Witness, making good ground towards the Leeds post. Excellent play by Witness. Mike O'Neill is half back. Derek Pike moving to the left. Paul Hume. David Hume at halfback, witness in a good position here. 15 yards from the post. Derek Pike. Leads under some pressure here again from witness. Alan Tate puts up and on, up and under. Just a li little bit long there. But good pressure again from witness. And generally a good start from witness. This will be a tap out to Leeds on the 25. You Odell. But again, the tackling from the witness forwards, pretty sure. Maskell to Ashton. Lee Crooks coming on a switch. Making six or seven yards for Leeds, right in the centre of the field. Maskell, another switch play. Leeds bringing it to the left, looking for support. John Bentley. Managing to put the ball inside. Roy Powell now. But Joe Grimmer, Mike O'Neill and Derek Pike bring him to ground. Leeds moving the ball to the left. Switches back inside to Hugh Odell. Making good ground, a good strong run from Udell. Dave Heron to Lee Crooks. Looking for support, but witness. Kick him in pretty well, police there. Dave Heron, kick through from Heron towards the witness line. But Rick Thackeray feels the ball well and returning. And indeed gets through the ball to David Hume. Men available on the blind side. Alan Tate in the line. Andy Curry on the outside. Alan Tate comes up to Westinghouse and it goes himself. Roy Paul with a tremendous tackle. Good covering from Leeds. Excellent play again from Witness down the right hand side, but good covering from Roy Powell. Witness with a chance to move the ball again. David Hume, men available on the left, Tony Myler. Still Witness pressure. Witness moving to the right, David Hume. Derek Pike. Ball goes to the ground, but Carl Gibson. Just making a timely interceptation for Leeds. Pressure by witness, but, uh, well, witness firmly on top in this game in the first 16 or 17 minutes. Leeds then trying to move the ball to the left from their own 25. But again, good tackling from the witness forwards, not allowing Leeds to move the ball. Uh, six, really doing a fabulous job at the moment. <laughs> 
leads through Ray Price playing the ball with a long ball to Odell long again with that ball going to ground and indeed Carl Gibson attempts to pick it up but witness pick up the loose ball and the ball loose again and indeed Mr Tennant are judging a double knock on which results in a scrum down maybe 30 yards from the Leeds line a penalty to Leeds I beg your pardon to witness a foot up in the scrum by a Leeds forward and Alan Tate with the penalty safely in touch witness in a good position again with the tap penalty David Hume Joe Grimmer driving in for witness towards those Leeds posts and doing very well which with a chance to move the ball to the left Derek Pike looking for support though from Richard Hurst but Leeds pick up the loose ball and Leeds trying to make ground Lee Crooks to the 25 Ashton with a long ball to Carl Gibson Thackeray across and the cover there for Witness snuffing out that effort from Carl Gibson Woodell with a good run from Leeds Witness have uh, stolen the ball again quite fairly says Mr Tennant and Leeds cannot seem to escape this 30 yard barrier that Witness appear to have put up across the field Joe Grimmer moving the ball to the left but a good strong run again from Joe Grimmer no chance for Witness to move the ball to the right David Hume switches play to Mike O'Neill who straightens play up Witness on the leads 25 right in front of the goalpost Witness move it to the right David Hume chance for Witness to move the ball to the left this time but a dummy by Derek Pike Andy Currier making three or four yards and Witness still in with a good position here to work the ball towards the left Alan Tate with another under a good one right under the post and that ball going over the line and a tap to Leeds who take it quickly Lyons offloading the ball to Lord but a good tackle from the covering Paul Hume John Bentley moving the ball inside to Lyons to Ashton Lee Crook straightening play off and indeed walking through a tackle looks inside Maskell leads with a chance but good covering from Winners a strong tackle from Alan Tate on his own 25 on Maskell Lyons leads moving the ball to the right switches play inside to Bentley bit of pressure from Leeds here now moving the ball to the left Lyons to Ashton misses one or two men out Ettinghausen but Leeds lose the initiative with rather a sloppy pass Leeds moving ball back inside Ray Ashton Derek Pike and Mike O'Neill with a good tackle just approaching the witness 25 Lyons with an up and under that ball standing up in the wind but David Hume the witness captain takes the ball very well and nearly breaks the tackle Derek Pike this time steadying play down for witness 30 yards from the witness line Mr Tennant and indeed tells witness to play on Andy Currier going from half back but met by two leads tacklers Richard Ers strong run from Richard Ers and indeed gets the ball away and witness trying to move the ball well David Hume with a kick through with that unluckily hits a Leeds player and rebounded very nicely for Dave Heron but witness were awake to that and made a good tackle 30 yards from the witness line Leeds moving the ball to the right Lee Crooks steps inside tries to offload the ball 
but Mike O'Neill with a good copybook tackle. Leeds going left now through Ashton to Cliff Lyons. Men in support. Goes inside. Leeds going very close to the line. And Mr. Tennant are judging that a witness player touched that ball. And indeed has given a free kick to Leeds. Well, Reg. A little bit of pressure from Leeds here now, after Witness initially having most of the territory. Yeah, both sides are dropping a great deal of balls, and Leeds at the moment have just started keeping all of it for six tackles, and they've proved if they only for six tackles, they can go the length of the field. Um, bit of a bad kick by David Humer to give him repossess the ball to, to Leeds, but Leeds now trying to put a little bit together and hoping that they can come away from Witness line with something. Right, thanks, Reg. Right, a lot of pressure from Leeds here. Two or three yards from the Witness line. Moving it to the right, Cliff Lyons to Dave Heron. Short ball to Price, goes through one tackle, but a good tackle. Excellent tackle from Paul Hume. Leeds still in possession, Dave Heron moving the ball to the right, switches it inside to Powell. But the witness pack are equal to that in front of their own post. Heron moves it to the right, men available for Leeds, Lee Crooks. Leeds still with the ball on the witness line. And the Leeds try. Well, Reg, after a bit of pressure from Leeds, finally getting over the line. Now, if you could just uh, give us your thoughts on that try there. Yeah, they just went short of the line by a yard. He played the ball, acting half back, just dove over the line with the three witness players around. They couldn't stop it, actually, he's so short of the line. Witness players to seven Leeds players, and it was inevitable after they swung the ball out they were going to score. And uh, as we said before, Leeds have held the ball for six tackles, put a lot of pressure on Witness, and have come away with four points. And it depends on how well the lad kicks the, uh, on the goal, depends whether they're going in front or not. Right, thanks, Reg. Well, 25 minutes gone, and Leeds equalise with a try, and David Stevenson with a conversion attempt, seven or eight yards in from the touchline. 26 yards away from the goal line and indeed pulling that kick to the right of the post and Andy Courier will restart the game for witness And a long kick had gone along the ground from Andy Courier. Fielded by Bentley, who makes it to the 25. Met by Joe Grimmer. Maskell to Powell. And strong tackling from three witness forwards. Leeds moving it to the left. Lyons out to Heron. Looking for Gibson on the outside. But witness take him into touch. Seven or eight yards from the halfway line. So a scrum down. Witness get the ball from the scrum and Rick Thackeray picks up the loose ball, straightens up play and makes it to 12 yards into the Leeds half. A chance for Witness to move the ball to the left. Tony Myler. Some good tackling from both sides, not allowing either side to really throw the ball about in the fashion that the two teams have become accustomed. That ball goes to the ground. Mr. Tennant deciding that a Leeds man touched the ball and indeed wipes the tackles clean and witness moving the ball to the left through Joe Grimmer. Good run looking for men on the outside. And Martin Afire having a word with the touch judge saying that he was impeded going for the ball. Mike O'Neill. Strong running from O'Neill, but again, good tackling from the Leeds forwards. Both sets of forwards tackling very well in this first half. Witness moving the ball to the right. A dummy from Paul. A good play to Richard Ayres, straining him, looking for men inside. So Witness, 12 yards from the Leeds post, and Mr Tennant, indeed, are judging that Cliff Lyons was holding down Richard Ayres and Nottingham allowing to play the ball. 
resulting in a penalty to witness in front of the Leeds post. So it'll be Andy Currier to take this penalty attempt and I'll ask Reg Borden for his comments. So far, we're just about coming up to half an hour gone in this first half. How he thinks the game's going as far as both sides are concerned? I think witness at the moment, uh, they went into a little bit of a lull early on. But when they started pressing on the, the lead side line, they thought it was going to be quite easy and they've stopped the tackling. They've let this Lee Crook start to run and Lee Crooks have been causing all sorts of havoc in the middle of the field and most of the breaks have caused through Lee Crooks. I think uh, scoring that try has injected uh, Witness with a little bit of a uh, little bit of more passion into the play and what they've done now, they've come down the field and they've started running onto the ball a bit stronger. They've started looking for gaps and they, they want to win now and that's that's the main thing about the job is they're trying to get on and get, and get the points uh, on, on the try line. Uh, as Thanks, Reg. Well, Andy Currier duly converts the penalty for Witness. And with virtually half an hour gone of this first half, the scoreline is Witness 6 and Leeds 4. John Bentley to restart the match for Leeds with a deep kick. Well taken by Paul Hume on the full. And a good strong run back into the Leeds forwards Derek Pike some really good tackling from both sets of forwards here well witness moving it to the left Mike O'Neill the ball pushed back to Alan Tate who kicks the ball downfield the ball going over the Leeds 25 Towards the touchline, and Carl Gibson. Oh, the referee saying that he didn't knock the ball forward, even though some of the witness spectators thought that he did so. But good tackling from witness, keeping Leeds pinned down 10 or 12 yards from their own line in front of their own post. Leeds trying to work the ball away through their captain, Lee Crooks. Strong run from Lee Crooks. And as Reg said, Lee Crooks is coming more and more into this game. And indeed, helping Leeds cause no end. Hugh Waddell offloads to Powell and Dave Heron joined the line. Moving to the left, Stevenson on the inside. But still going, but good covering from Derek Pike who stops the movement. Leeds with a chance to move it to the right. Cliff lines with a kick through. Up to the witness, 25, and Alan Tate feels the ball. And is tackled by Carl Gibson. Rick Thackeray taking the ball from half-back, strengthening play up and making good ground for Witness. Phil McKenzie at half-back to David Hume, to Paul Hume, Tony Myler in the line. Look, he's... Oh! Well! Taylor with the, the ball into ground and Taylor going over the line. fire after him. And a good tackle by fire, And indeed, Mr Tennant awarding a try for Leeds well the witness crowd not happy about that decision because a little earlier in that move a witness player appeared to be impeded as he went for the pass from Tony Myler by uh, the lead centre so the ball went to ground Bentley picked it up and instead of witness getting straight onto Bentley they were looking for the obstruction <coughs> which gave Bentley a couple of yards. Off you get after him and just caught him just short of the line. But it was too late, that two seconds in thinking that the referee was going to give the penalty. And Bentley carrying on with play like a good professional should do. He got on with the job and started running. And I think, uh, you know, Witness really uh, can look at that try and think, uh, you know, they've been done out of uh, four points there, really, because um, the man was held back, Dan Wright was held back. Uh, just the referee never seen it, the touch judge never seen it. And Leeds have come away with four points. Well, thanks, Reg. As Reg says, that play does not stop until the referee says so. And while one or two players may have been looking for intervention by the referee, it didn't come, and indeed resulted in a lead try. Conversion attempt on the right from David Stevenson. A good long kick and a tremendous conversion by David Stevenson. Well, with 32 or three minutes gone, a fine conversion from the right-hand side of the touchline by David Stevenson. Puts Leeds 
into the lead by 10 points to six. Andy Courier to restart the match for Witness. David Heron catches the ball. He's met by Tony Myler, Rick Thackeray and Paul Hume. Leeds with a chance to move the ball to the right, on their own 25-yard line. Well, Widnes and Leeds encounters over the years have never been short of excitement. Two good footballing sides, and already this match has proved again to be exciting in more ways than one for the supporters today. Leeds with the ball, moving it to the left. Cliff Lyons inside to the centre, Gary Lord, but tackled again by Widnes. Lee Crooks coming to the right this time. Beats one man, Ophaya pushes him down. And Lee Crooks tackled a yard in from the touchline. Leeds moving the ball inside. The winger kicking the ball up the field. That's Bentley. Doesn't make too much ground. Oh, and a mistake. Well, the ball bouncing back and two between two players. And finally, Mr. Tennant ruling that both teams knocked on. And in the end, giving a scrum down three or four yards into the Leeds half on the right-hand side of the field. Leeds put in and they take the ball out. Moving it now through Lyons. Gibson comes round from the wing. But Alan Tate joins the line. The ball goes loose. And Mr Tennant saying that Carl Gibson lost the ball. And it's a scrum down, nine or ten yards into the Leeds half. Witness with the ball in the scrum, David Hume. Now it comes out on the Leeds side. Leeds moving to the right, Cliff Lyons. He's got men on the outside, switches it back inside. Beats one mere. And there's Taylor, and a good tackle from the covering Mike O'Neill, an excellent tackle. Mike O'Neill getting back there with a good solid tackle on Bentley. Bentley playing the ball, Ettinghausen moving it to the left, to Heron. Leeds trying to work the ball on the left-hand side, moving back inside to Heron. To Powell, the ball goes to ground, and indeed, witness drop on the loose ball. The ball going to ground this afternoon from both sides. Witness through Richard Erz, straightening play up and making good ground. Alan Tate at half-back. Derek Pike moving the ball to the left. Solid run from Pike. And he plays the ball to himself. Looking for support for the witness team. Alan Tate in the line and just failing to beat. Cliff Lyons with a good tackle there. Joe Grimmer with a kick downfield from Grimmer. And an excellent kick from Joe Grimmer, but the ball just with an awkward bounce and staying in play. And Roy Powell retrieving the ball five or six yards from his own line. An unlucky bounce of the ball there from a good kick from Joe Grimmer. Powell making it up to the 25. Carl Gibson going from half back. <coughs> Leeds moving the ball through Hugh Waddell. Strong prop forward. Playing it to himself and making it another five or six yards. Waddell to play the ball. Maskell to Lyons. Into lines. Dave Heron trying to straighten the play up, but a good tackle from Richard Hurst. Lee Crooks on the blind side. Passes the ball out to Lord. And moves the ball for well, Mr. Tennant right on the spot there. To rule it was a forward pass, but indeed it was a sixth tackle. And a turnover. And a chance for witness to run the ball from the halfway. And a mistake by a witness player. A slight lock of concentration and a knock on and a scrum down right on halfway. Ray Ashton to put the ball into the scrum. Leads again win the scrum and move it to the left through Lyons. David Stevenson stepping inside. Witness tackle him right on the halfway line. Ashton again moving to the left, looking for Gibson. Gibson not there but still gets the ball away. Ettinghausen, the ball goes loose. And David Hume, with some good covering play for Witness, drops on the ball. And Mr Tennant, judging that Stevenson 
unfairly holding David Hume down and awarding witness a penalty. Alan Tate with the penalty. Safely in touch and witness five or six yards into the lead, half of the field with a tap. Joe Grimmer, good tackling from Leeds. Well, with three or four minutes left in his first half, witness with the ball with a chance to get back into this game. Richard Erz trying to find a way down the middle, but met by two good tackles from the Leeds forwards. Witness appears to be slightly clogged down in the middle of the field. Richard Erz, Alan Tate in the line, and again, pretty strong tackling from the Leeds centre, David Stevenson. Mike O'Neill. Carl Gibson nearly picking up the loose ball. Well, Mr. Tennant are judging that that was a double knock on. And one or two spectators on the far side believe that Carl Gibson knocked the ball to a witness player. Nevertheless, a scrum down. Seven or eight yards into the Leeds half. The ball came out on the Leeds side, but Mr. Tennant telling the two packs to scrum down again. And it'll be David Hume to put the ball in. Witness have the ball. David Hume goes blind. Mr. Tennant in there with the players. Just trying to sort out who indeed has the ball. And some confusion ends with Mr. Tennant telling both packs to pack down again on the 10 yard line. Well, ironic applause from the witness fans on the stand side. Feeding from Ray Ashton and the witness fans thinking that that isn't the first time that Ray Ashton has in fact used that tactic. Anyway, a free kick to witness coming up to half time. Alan Tate puts the ball in touch and a chance for witness then as half time approaches to move the ball across the field. Witness moving the ball across. Richard Urs, straight new play up, but again met by some good tackling from Leeds. Phil McKenzie, a half-back. And Mr Tennant rules that Ray Ashton was offside at the play of the ball and awards a free kick to witness, which Andy Courier will take a shot at goal, maybe 30 yards from the post, right in front of the post. Well, Reg, two or three minutes to go to half-time. Do you see witness coming back in to the game or have Leeds forwards got on top slightly in the last 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah, I think Leeds forwards are starting to put it a bit together, but uh, it's anybody's game at the moment. It's the side who's going to make the least mistakes, and at the moment, both sides are dropping this ball all over the field. I don't know whether it's not wet out there. I don't know whether it's cold out there or something. But there's an awful lot of drop balls going to you know balls going to ground on both sides. And I think it's the side that starts tightening up on this sort of thing and uh, starts running the ball for the six tackles. Witness looked a little bit uh, lost on the fourth and fifth tackle. They don't seem to know what they're going to do, and uh, co consequently they're running into people and trying to throw to offload the ball in stupid positions. Uh, Leeds at the moment. Um, are playing very well, Crooks and Waddell are taking the ball up the middle and just trying to create gaps in the middle of the field to, for the backs to come onto it. He's trying to get uh, Cliff Lyon getting the Sessionising into the game and they're trying, they're trying to come up with this. They've attacked. Right, thanks Reg. As Andy Courier converts the penalty kick and with half time approaching, the scoreline is witness eight, leads ten. John Bentley about to restart the match for Leeds. <laughs> With a kick into the wind, shorter kick this time. Derek Pike, using his feet to control the ball. And indeed, the ball going to a Leeds player. Leeds with a chance then. 30 yards on the witness line. Dave Heron, Lyons with a long pass. But Lord, police by two or three witness players and the Hooter goes for half time with the scoreline witness eight leads ten 
I'll ask for Reg Borden's comments on the whole of that first half. Well, I think Leeds deserve to be in the in the driving seat at the moment. They've run with a bit more conviction than witness. They've they've tackled a little bit harder, and they've had a little bit of rub of the green, and they've come off uh, leading it. Leading. They also have been playing against a very very strong. They've been trying to run the ball down the field, and I think Leeds in the second half will be testing uh, Alan Tate to his uh, to the limits. Right, thanks, Reg. So, as I say, at half time, witness eight, Leeds ten. The players go into the dressing room, and let's hope for a bit more. Well, welcome back to the second half. Witness taking the field, and indeed the Leeds team follow them quickly out. Well, before the second half starts, I'll ask Reg Borden what he thinks the Witness should perhaps do in the second half to perhaps alter the state of the game as it stands. I think we've got to get a bit further into Leeds. Uh, I think we've got one of the best standoffs in the in the world at the moment in Tory Mile, and he's, he's just hitting uh, peak form. I think Tony's going to have to grab hold of this uh, game by the scuff of the neck. Usually Kurt Sorensen does it. I think Tony's, uh, Tony's our man on the field who can stand people up and push his ball out and take people on. And I think if Tony Marler starts uh, getting a grip of the game in the second half, we'll have people running off him like Rich Years and Mike O'Neill. Uh, I think, you know, and Paul Hume and da even David Hume backing him up. I think this could be the difference in the both sides. Uh, Leeds at the moment um, are looking very strong. They're doing everything right. They're doing the basics right. And, and I said earlier on, it's the team who drops the least balls, and that's what Witness have got to do. It's a bit easier playing against the wind when you're passing the ball because the ball's coming back to you, and I think this will make a difference to Witness handling this half. Right, thanks, Reg. We'll see how it goes then. With Leeds feeling that kickoff from Andy Currier right on their own 25. Powell. Paul Newman, Richard Ers with a good tackle. A very strong win now in Leeds' favour. Hugh Waddell. Hugh Waddell went on the Great Britain tour to Australia and he did very well in the latter end of the tour long kick down the field an awkward bounce but Alan Tate takes it cleanly comes out to the left hand side of the field and it beat it's the two Leeds players and indeed three making play go up to the halfway line Andy Currier to Derek Pike Pike straightening play up knocks a man off finds David Hume inside And the referee judges that pass inside from Derek Pike was a couple of feet forward. But an encouraging start from Witness. As Ray Ashton puts the ball in and it comes out to Witness. David Hume taking it round on the left side. Tony Myler with a pass to Darren Wright. But a good tackle from Gary Lord. Paul Hume. 10 yards into the lead, half of the field. Tony Myler to David Hume. Mike O'Neill on the switch. Straightening play up and indeed doing very well, Mike O'Neill. A tremendous run, taking play just over the lead, 25. Good run from Mike O'Neill. Now a chance for Witness to move the ball across the field. Paul Hume to David Hume to Pike with a dummy. Lee Crooks. Policing Derek Pike. Paul Hume moving the ball to the left now. Tate in the line, the ball goes to the floor. The referee says play on. Ettinghausen picks up the loose ball and Tony Myler tackles him. A yard from the Leeds line. Bentley making another yard for Leeds. Witness must keep the pressure on Leeds here. Half back again by Maskell. Takes play five or six yards up the field. Hugh Waddell from half-back and Leeds persisting with this half-back running on his own with the ball and have cleared the line very well. Lions to Crooks, moving the ball out to the left. Dave Heron, Dave Heron making a good run, looking for men inside. Dave Heron finds Price inside. A good run from Ettinghausen and an excellent tackling from the covering David Hume. Well, Leeds bringing play out from their own line very well indeed. This is Price. Good run, the ball comes loose. And a knock on on the sixth tackle. And a turnover resulting in a play the ball to Witness. Well, Leeds with some good play, taking the ball right down the field. Witness to trying to move the ball from their own 25. Tony Myler. Witness cannot see him at the moment. 
to get away from this very strong lead tackling. Well, further up the field, an injury to Paul Hume. Looks like a shoulder injury. Trying to make a tackle on Ettinghausen as he broke through the witness defence. And indeed, that seems to be a rather nasty injury to Paul Hume. Alan Tate with a kick downfield beyond Ettinghausen. But this very strong wind not allowing that ball to travel very far. Witness lying up on Ettinghausen, trying to run round. Offload to Gibson, who's met by Rick Thackeray and Mike O'Neill. Ten yards in the lead half. David Stevenson. Steps through two witness tackles. Stevenson making a good run. Deep into the witness half. A pass inside to Lyons. Witness under some pressure. A good tackle from David Hume again. Leeds playing the ball. Leeds with men available on the right. Heron to Powell. Darren Wright brings him to ground. There was a good overlap for Leeds. Leeds still five or six yards in the witness line. Hugh Waddell moves the ball back inside to Maskell. Leads two or three yards in the witness line. Witness will have to defend, they're a man short. Dave Heron to Lyons, to Crooks. Leeds still moving, Ettinghausen back inside. Lyons. Well, some pressure from Leeds, resulting in a scrum down. Three or four yards from the witness line. Well, Reg, some pressure from Leeds there. Yeah, excellent play by Leeds. Good running by Etienne Housen. Uh, good running by, lovely break by uh, David Stevenson down the down here. And uh, Leeds uh, really, they should have scored on the far side. Roy Powell had a four-man overlap and uh, didn't get the ball in. It's a good place to witness to blocking him off, I think, really. Good place to the sensors uh, over the Darren Wright for blocking it off. Uh, Leeds should have made a lot better of that. Thanks, Reg. Well, some relief for witness with a free kick and a tap penalty on the 25. The substitute, Emma Sukaloto, this new signing to the witness squad, become a very popular player already at witness. Mike O'Neill with a pass inside, and that again, a loose pass, picked up by Leeds, resulting in Leeds putting more pressure again on witness. Dave Heron, Lee Crooks, Coloto with a copybook tackle right on the 25. Playing it to himself, Flea Crooks, and making good ground into the witness. Try line. Hugh Waddell going for the witness line. He's got support on the outside. Leads then to play the ball. Maskell. Leeds failing to get the ball across. There's Lyons. A kick from Lyons behind the witness defence. Martin O'Fire picks the ball up, steps inside one man. But a good tackle from Powell. And indeed an injury to a Leeds player, Cliff Lyons, in the middle of the field. As Darren Wright tries to bring Witness away from this position in front of their own post. And again, some respite for Witness. Mr Tennant ruling that Powell illegally took the ball from Darren Wright. And a quick tap from Witness. And again, the ball goes to ground. Witness making it very hard for themselves in this early stage of the second half as the ball again goes to ground, 25 yards from their own line. Leeds have the ball again, moving it to the left. Lyons, Stevenson, switches play back inside, passes and Leeds keeping the ball going with Heron. Support again from Leeds. Richard Ers with a tackle for Witness. Hugh Waddell from the half-back position, drives at the Witness pack and makes good ground. Maskell at half-back. Moving the ball to the right, Lyons. Lee Crooks driving in at witness. But excellent tackling from Mike O'Neill and Derek Pike. A chance for Leeds to move it to the left this time. Cliff Lyons switching play back inside to Maskell. He's only got Tate to fail, and it's a try for Leeds. Two or three yards from the left of the witness post. Well, in the end, a lot of Leeds pressure for five or six minutes there. Had to result, you feel. Well, Reg, one or two balls 
from Witness going to ground there, and in the end, they paid the price with that lead strike. Well, stem from uh, we got a free kick on our own 22 instead of putting it into touch. We took the tap, lost the ball on the first tackle. Leeds have come up with the, the ball from the scrum. Uh, they took it into the middle of the field with the, using the two big props of Crooks and Waddell. And they just run a simple run around near the post, and Maskell ends up scoring on the corner. Uh, really, Leeds have been nothing but doing, putting pressure on Witness since the start of this second half, and re they deserve the, I think the, the four points they've just scored. Right, thanks, Reg. David Stevenson with what appears to be a comfortable conversion attempt. Five or six yards to the left of the post, 15 yards from the goal line. And indeed, converts that try. Facing a very, very strong wind, as we said. They now go behind by 16 points to eight. Feel that Witness must try to use the speed out on the outside of the field because they're finding it very difficult to break down this lead six who are tackling very well and indeed when they have the ball making good ground as well down the middle of the field. Andy Currier with a long kick into the wind. Fielded by Bentley. 20 yards from his own line. Coloto with the tackle. Hugh Waddell. A very strong prop forward. Maskell to Powell. Witness perhaps not bringing the man down as they meet them, allowing Leeds to make that extra yard or so and then look for support on the outside. A long kick from Bentley. And with this win, the ball carrying right down the field to Alan Tato at the second attempt feels the ball looks for a fire and he does so gets the ball out to a fire on the left a chance for a fire steps inside beats two or three players but he's met by Price who's coming back from the witness line Derek Pike at half back Mike O'Neill straightening play up on here looking for support the ball again going to ground and a Leeds player dropping on the ball and moving it to the right Lee Crooks to Lord, Lord inside to Bentley, but a good tackle from the hooker. Bentley again from half back, trying to go round off fire, throws the ball inside, but the linesman judges that Bentley stepped in touch just before he threw the ball inside. Well, witness appear to be making most of the problems for themselves. They're looking to squeeze this ball out to the supporting player, and it's just being knocked down on most of occasions by the Leeds tacklers and the substitution for Leeds number 12 Gary Price coming off and Paul Maidley joining the Leeds effort Paul Maidley a tourist with the Great Britain side to Australia in the summer trying to inject some extra pace into the Leeds team Andy Currier Plays it to himself. And indeed. A free kick. Mr. Tennant are judging that the Leeds player wasn't five yards away. And Andy Currier may have seen that. And indeed gains a free kick to witness. Alan Tate with a tap. And kicks it downfield. And indeed Leeds gain possession from that. 15 yards in the Leeds half. Gary Lord. Brought to ground by Derek Pike. Chance for Leeds to move the ball to the left. Men available. Dave Heron stepping through again. Heron looking for support. Finds Lee Crooks. An attempted long pass from Crooks. Knocked down by a witness player. And witness indeed pick up the loose ball. And a free kick to witness, Mr. Tennant. Telling Ray Ashton that he was impeding Tony Myler. And Alan Tate kicking for touch. Just finds touch. 15 yards into the Leeds half. But a Leeds player touched the ball. And it's a scrum down. 
David Hume to put the ball in for Witness. Witness have the ball. Tony Myler. Darren Wright. Tony Myler again on the switch. But Darren Wright. Good tackling from Leeds. But a chance for Witness now to put some pressure on Leeds. Coloto. Strong player, Coloto. Richard Erz at half back. Tony Myler. Derek Pike. Short ball to Alan Tate. But a good tackle from Dave Heron. Derek Pike. Makes it up to the 25 yard line. McKenzie switches inside to Joe Grimmer. Richard Erz. Straight new play up. But a good tackle from Lee Crooks. Alan Tate, dummies. David Hume picks up the loose ball, moves it to the right. David Hume with a good run towards the Leeds post. And he's brought down eight or nine yards short of the line. And a sixth tackle resulting in a turnover. Witness had a chance there to put some pressure on the Leeds line. And now it's a chance for Leeds to work the ball away. Cliff Lyons. Well, as the game appears to be moving towards its final quarter, I'll ask Reg Borden as to whether he feels that Witness can do anything to change round the scoreline as it stands at the moment. I think Witness can actually, Steve. I think what they're doing now, we've seen a thing that Witness have not done all season. They've started to panic in possession with the ball. And uh, oh, what they're doing is they've got a kind of bit of composure and come back, at, come back at Leeds and stop doing all these silly things. We've seen things doing today, like kicks from the tap and all sorts of things. We've never seen Witness do all season. I think it's just a little bit of panic getting into the game. And someone's got to control it, calm it down. It's either going to be Derek Pike or Tony Mann in the middle has got to calm everything down and then get on with the game. Right, thanks, Reg. As Reg says, the one thing in the Witness play this year appears to have been the simple things done fast and furiously. Today, They've tried one or two unorthodox things and they just quite haven't come off. But a chance now to move the ball out to the left. Derek Pike, finding Richard Erz. Having said that, the tackling this afternoon from both sides has been, in the main, excellent, very tight indeed. Martin Afire, but a lot of Leeds players there. Just as soon as Martin Afire got that pass, three or four Leeds players we're on top of him. And the lead substitute, Paul Medley, not allowing Martin Afire to play that ball, resulting in yet another free kick to Witness. Two or three yards inside their own half. Alan Tate kicks the ball into touch. And a tap for Witness. Joe Grimmer finds a fire inside. But again, as soon as the fire gets the ball, there's not much room at all. Now the linesman's in. He must have seen something as two or three Leeds players tackle Martin Afire. Mr. Tennant's having a word with Lee Crooks. And another free kick to witness. Alan Tate with a good safe kick into touch against a very strong win. Now on the 25, Phil McKenzie with the tap. Joe Grimmer, good strong run from Grimmer. A chance for witness to move the ball across the field. David Hume, Emerson Coloto, tempting to step through those tackles. But again, Leeds not giving much away at all in the middle of the field. Phil McKenzie, Derek Pike, switches play inside to Tony Myler. Myler trying to get the ball away to Richard Erz. But he's tackled by Wardell and Maskell. Joe Grimmer, good run from Grimmer. And the ball taken from his grasp by Leeds. Dave Heron bringing the ball away. Well, Witness appears to be getting very close to the Leeds line on many occasions. We just don't seem to be able to turn that territorial advantage into points. Leeds again now with a haul down the field. Lions to Powell. Get on, get on, get on, get on. 
Obviously Leeds will use this very strong wind that's behind them. A good kick from Bentley. And Alan Tate takes that ball 10 yards from his own post. Has to face the lead team on his own and manages to get to the 25. Rick Thackeray's at half-back. Throws the ball out to Tony Myler on the left-hand side of the field. Tony Myler just can't seem to be able to get that ball away today as he does on numerous occasions. David Hume, Phil McKenzie at half-back. Now a chance for witness. Andy Currier. Looking for the support, Phil McKenzie. But again, Leeds lying very, very close up to the witness man with the ball. Not allowing witness to move the ball very far at all. Andy Currier throws the ball to Derek Pike, who switches play to the left-hand side. To Joe Grimmer. Martin O'Fire comes inside this time. Still going. But Maskell and John Bentley bring him to ground. Mike O'Neill at halfback. Andy Currier with a kick upfield, trying to take the pressure off Witness. The ball bounces very kindly for Ettinghausen. Darren Wright fell to take him out. Ettinghausen coming right across the field, looking for Gab Gibson. Passes to Gibson, who steps inside. And Mike O'Neill again, covering from across the other side of the field. A good tackle. Rick Thackeray, but leads again, bringing the pressure down onto Witness. Stevenson getting the ball out again to Roy Powell. Maskell at half back to Dave Heron. Played a long time for Leeds. Dave Heron is still doing a lot of damage. Ettinghausen met by Mike O'Neill. Maskell moving the ball to the right. Hugh Odell. Leeds moving the ball to the left-hand side of the field. Lee Crooks, the Leeds captain, steps inside. The ball goes to ground. And a knock-on on the sixth tackle, resulting in a turnover and a witness play the ball. Derek Pike trying to bring the ball away. And now to Emerson Coloto. An injury to Roy Powell there. Seems an ankle injury, but he's now up and joins the Leeds line. Witness with a chance to move the ball to the left. Tony Myler with the ball to Richard Erz, looking for support. But a very good tackle from Gary Lloyd. Tony Meyer again, moving the ball now to the right. But again, Leeds know the men to close down in this witness team. Tony Meyer being one of them and doing a very good job on him today. Derek Pike, a long pass to Darren Wright, or to the rather to Andy Currier. He throws the ball out to Rick Thackeray. And the ball running into touch. Well, maybe 15 or 16 minutes to go in the second half, and witness just don't seem to be able to get away from their own 25 at the moment. Read your comments. They're not standing deep enough, witness, when they've when they've got the ball. They, they're standing miles too flat. So when it, consequently, when they're throwing the ball out, leads are up on and straight away. I think they've got to get a bit deeper and start using this ball. We've got so much pace on the outside, and we're not using it at the moment. We're just trying to take them on up the middle. Um, Tony Miles just coming in, in the game over there and set Richie on a lovely run. He just couldn't get the ball out. And, you know, myself personally, I think we've just got to stand a little bit deeper, so Leeds, because Leeds are up very, very quick indeed. So the further you stand back, the longer they've got to run to get to you. All right, thanks, Reg. Well, free kick to witness takes them up to 10 yards from the halfway line. Mike O'Neill, met by Medley with a good tackle, but gets the ball away to David Hume. Now Richard Erz. Richard Erz with a good run, taking play up to the halfway, a good run, giving some encouragement to the witness crowd. You feel that witness must, as Reg says, step up a gear here and move the ball out wide, where all the speed is there. Derek Pike, Mike O'Neill complaining that he was held there before he got the ball. And that isn't the first occasion this afternoon when it appears that Leeds are holding the witness player who are coming in support. David Hume. Alan Tate in the line, taking play out now to the right-hand side on his own. Tries to pass the ball inside for the ball referee. Scrubs the tackles, six more tackles to witness. Richard Erz trying to get up the middle of the field, doing very well. Now setting up a good position for witness. A chance now, the crowd getting behind witness now. Phil McKenzie, dummies and switches play. 
The referee says the ball was not knocked forward. Derek Pike, a chance again then for witness. Andy Curry at half back. Moves the ball short to Joe Grimmer. But again, the lead's tackling just as strong as ever. Phil McKenzie, dummies, tries to go himself. Offload to Andy Courier. Courier looks inside. And a knock on by Derek Pike. Leeds have the ball 20 yards from their own post. Hugh Waddell. Offloads again to Ashton. Roy Powell. And again, Leeds seem to be able to make this yardage away from their own post, but an injury back further up the field to a witness player. who was attempting to make that tackle on you, Waddell. Leeds still with the ball on the right-hand side of the field. Ray Ashton to Dave Heron. Misses Crooks out. Finds Ettinghausen. Looking inside. Throws it out to Gibson. Gibson with a kick inside. Alan Tate drops on the loose ball and does very well under pressure from three Leeds players. Well, the injured player up the field is Joe Grimmer, still having attention from the witness trainers. Meanwhile, Mike O'Neill trying to bring witness away from the 25-yard line. A kick again hits the Leeds player and Mr Tennant says play on. And leads again now on the 25, mounting pressure on witness. Hugh Waddell, again the ball goes to ground. Alan Tate breaks through the Leeds cover. He has a fire on the outside. A fire beating one man, two men. But it's all just a little tight on that touchline. Well, the ball this afternoon really has been bobbing up and down like a bar of soap. Both sides just cannot seem to keep the ball for any length of time at all. And probably witness have been the bigger victims of that sort of play. A substitute for witness, number 14, Barry Dowd, has come onto the field for the injured Joe Grimmer. But leads again then on the halfway with possession. Gary Lord coming in and met by Darren Wright, Ray Ashton. Price, who's come back onto the field for Leeds. Just on quarter of an hour to go. Lee Crooks looking for players on the inside, and again the ball goes to ground. And this time, Witness with a chance to pick up the loose ball, which they do through Darren Wright. But it's a long way up the field for Witness against this win. But a good run from the captain, David Hume. Now Phil McKenzie, this is a little bit better from Witness, making ground with two tackles. Witness lying nice and deep now, and a chance to move the ball. David Hume. Five or six yards from the halfway line. Derek Pike. Dummies the ball of fire coming across on the left wing. And again, the ball going to, to ground. 10 yards from the halfway line. Well, in the keenness to bring a fire into the, into the play, a fire comes right across from the wing. Leeds with a nice move. Gibson clear on the left. But witness cover across on him quickly through MLO Coloso. Dave Heron at half back. Cliff Lyons. Stevenson. Leeds moving the ball to the right to Lord. To Bentley on the right, he steps round. The first player tries to move the ball inside. And the linesman puts his flag up. Nine or ten yards from the witness line. Well, Leeds had a chance there to move the ball. It appeared to have men over, but the witness cover bundled Taylor into touch. Scrum down. 10 yards from the touchline on the 10-yard line. 
Ashton. David Hume puts the ball in. And Leeds get the ball out. Ray Ashton going for the line himself. And a try given by the referee. Ray Ashton took the ball from the scrum. Went for the line himself. Appeared to be tackled a yard or two short. One or two witness players thinking that it was a double movement from Ray Ashton. I think uh, where we went a little bit wrong there is we've had Corrier at loose forward and uh, he's never played loose forward before. Uh, Rich Years has gone into the second row back again. I, I think we would have been wise putting Corrier in the second row and Rich Years staying loose forward because all he's done is come round the blind side and Corrier's still been in the pack, left the gap wide open. Uh, Leeds have done all the pressurising in this half. Witness just can't seem to uh, all three passes together. And when they do, they, you know, they, they don't look uh, formidable for us that they have done the weeks before. I think what's happened is we've been playing Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday. I think you play three three matches in the space of a week. It starts telling you on the last one. And I think Leeds have come here today with their tails up. And our lads are a little bit uh, a bit down at the moment, especially with all the matches they've played, a little bit tired. And I think Leeds have come and uh, caused us on a bad day. Right, thanks, Reg. Well, David Stevenson with a conversion attempt. Six or seven yards in from the touchline on the right-hand side of the field. And just to the right of the post. As I said at the start of this match, Leeds have had a roller coaster kind of a season with some good performances and some very bad ones. And today they appear to have saved a good one for Norton Park. But having said that, Witness are never beaten until the final whistle. That kick out from Witness taking play into the Leeds 25. Price trying to make ground, plays the ball. Maskell going from half-back and met by Dowd and Tony Myler. Stevenson with a long kick downfield for Leeds, using this win very well. The ball going all the way down to the witness line. Fielded by Alan Tate, who has to bring it all the way back at the field. And he's tackled by Paul Medley. Witness trying to move the ball to the left. Rick Thackeray plays the ball. Mike O'Neill trying to get through the centre of the leads forwards but to no avail. Phil McKenzie attempting the short pass back to Mike O'Neill. And I'm afraid the ball has gone to ground far too many times for witness like in this afternoon and has caused umpteen problems for them. Leeds get that ball from the scrum. Ettinghausen joins the line, goes to the right, chooses to go himself and Martin Ophaya tackles him. Leeds then through Lord. Good tackle from Coloto. 15 yards from the witness line. Maskell to Medley. Steps through Coloto. Taking Leeds up to 10 yards from the witness line. Medley to play the ball. Maskell. Hugh Waddell. Very strong prop forward. Three or four witness players there to hold him up. Maskell, just to the right of the post. Looks for Ashton, now to Lyons. Lyons goes for the line. Two or three witness forwards, holding him up two or three yards from the line. Leads with a good position. Cliff Lyons playing the ball, plays for himself. And indeed on the sixth tackle, Mr Tennant. The judges, a turnover, and witness have the whole length of the field to move the ball away from their own post. David Hume played very well this afternoon and indeed it's just been announced that he is the witness man of the match for this afternoon. He's played very well. Derek Pike. David Heron and Price bring him to ground. Phil McKenzie switches play, goes on his own. And with five or six minutes left in this match, witness with what appears to be a mountain to climb. 
again. A little bit of lack of concentration from Witness. Sees the ball go to ground. Resulting in a scrum down. Nine or ten yards from the Witness line in the centre of the field. Ray Ashton to put the ball in for Leeds. And David Ewing with some tremendous play around the scrum. Snatching that ball right from under Ray Ashton's nose. Derek Pike trying very hard to get up that field. Wrestled to the ground by Ray Ashton. Tony Myler, Coloto. But again, closed down by this good Leeds tackling. We're just moving the ball to the right. Andy Courier breaks through, looks for many support. Bayon says the referee. Witness doing very well. Alan Tate throws a long ball out to Martin Afire, who switches it back inside to Coloto. Coloto pushes off Ettinghausen, goes for the corner. A tremendous run from Coloto. Good cover from Dave Heron. But a great run from Coloto, playing the ball. Yes. Mr. Tennant giving Witness a free kick. He'll take a quick free kick, throwing the ball along the field. A kick from David Hume over to the right, but Carl Gibson feels the ball. And second by Rick Thackeray. Well, Witness had a chance there to put some pressure on the Leeds line and turn that into points. But again, as is so often happened this afternoon, they just not have had the luck that they had perhaps on one or two other occasions. Leeds bringing the ball away from their own line. You can't take anything away from Leeds this afternoon. They've come here to Norton Park. And the pack especially has played very well as a unit. Tackled very well. And indeed run the ball in an orthodox manner to set up runs for the backs. Hugh Woodell tries to move the ball back for Leeds. And the referee are judging that a witness player touched the ball. And indeed, given Leeds six tackles, but didn't play it to Mr. Tennant's liking, has decided that Witness should have a free kick. Witness to move it to the left. Richard Erz trying to straighten play up himself. Looking for support that wasn't there. Now plays the ball. David Hume moving to the right. Derek Pike switches play to Tony Myler. Drives at the Leeds post, goes himself Tony Myler. But the ball taken from his grasp. By Ettinghausen and Leeds have the ball again. Just about a minute or so to go in this game. And Leeds have the ball. And will slowly use up the tackles I feel. Before kicking down the field. Well, the linesman's come onto the field to have a word with Mr. Tennant. He must have seen something. And gives a free kick to Leeds. David Stevenson kicks for touch. A good solid kick to bring play down onto the halfway. Well, as the match nears its end, I'll ask Reg Borden for his final comments on this afternoon's play. I think uh, both sides have tackled really hard. I think Leeds have been the one who's made the least mistakes in the second half and we said at the beginning of the second half the one who makes the least mistakes will come out on top and Leeds have done this, they've held the ball for six tackles, they've run it very well, they've used uh, everything that they've got to do and Witness have, you know, I've never seen a Witness side uh, this year make so many mistakes as they have uh, today but we all, we all have off days and it's just happened that uh, quite a few of the lads today have had off days and we're going to come away from here with minus the points. Well thanks Reg, fair comment from Reg. We haven't seen too many bad performances from Witness this year. Maybe a little unlucky on uh, one or two occasions when the ball has gone to ground and a Leeds player has picked up the loose ball. Nonetheless, a bit of a setback in their quest to catch Castleford at the top of the first division. Rick Thackeray trying to get the ball away. 
Parry down, bringing ball out to the right, having to go on his own. And Leeds meets him with two tackles from Gibson and Maskell. Andy Currier coming back to the same place, again to meet Gibson and Maskell. David Hume, Derek Pike, the ball goes loose. Medley kicks the ball through towards the witness line. Medley chases the ball. And Mr. Tennant judges a knock on. Paul Medley failing to ground the ball cleanly as he kicked the ball over the line. But a right decision from Mr. Tennant. Coloto pushing the ball inside. Richard Erz, a good pass from Coloto. But a good tackle from Lyons. Coloto from half back charges at the Leeds defence. Bings play right onto half way line. And a final chance perhaps for Witness to move the ball to the right. Misses a man out. Barry Dowd. And Gibson just gets his finger to that ball and knocks the ball forward. Witness had one or two men on the outside there. Gibson saw the situation and just managed to knock the ball forward to stop that Witness move. Scrum down then. 10 yards into the witness half. Witness get the ball, David Hume moving it to Tony Myler. Barry Dowd, misses Dowd out. Tony Myler goes through the gap, but followed all the way by Ettinghausen. Alan Tate inside to Richard Erz. But held up on the halfway line by two or three leads forwards. Richard Erz to play the ball. Tony Myler at halfback moves the ball to the right. Andy Currier breaks two tackles, makes a good run up the middle of the field. Many support, kicks for the line. Andy Currier with Ettinghausen, the ball over the line. Andy Currier and the referee the judges that a Leeds player beating to the ball. But that doesn't matter because it makes no difference to the score line. A setback for witness this afternoon. As the Hooter goes with the final scoreline of Witness 8, Leeds 20. Witness held up there in the challenge to catch Castleford at the head of the first division. I'll just ask Reg whether he thinks that he can see anything particular in that game that he thinks that Witness could perhaps put right in their next game. Well, we think that the Witness came up with a little bit tired from the game that we've played. And, uh, you know, we've, they've just not put the things together today. They've had a lot of chances, and we've just tried getting rid of the ball at uh, the last minute, and, and it's gone to ground. And Leeds have done a, a good job. They've just done the basics right, and witness, uh, you know, have just... Uh, 